Hello everyone, welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. Thank you for joining us on another video on this channel. My name is Simon Preston. And as you can see by the title of this video, movements, absolute outstanding things to speak about. Reggae boy Omar Holness has left Darlington FC in England. Yes, this has been in the talks for quite some time, to be quite frank with you. Even from around the USA fixture, or even before that, to be quite frank with you, around January 2021, there's been talks about Omar making a move from Darlington. Look, he loves the club. The Northeast is an outstanding footballing area in Durham. Lots of history. A club with a badge over 100 years old. Look, he enjoyed it. It was a brilliant time. He accomplished quite a lot of things. Playing in England, one scoring in the FA Cup, another scoring in the, the FA Trophy, and another as well. He's done his part. He has accomplished a lot of his goals and dreams as it relates to professional football, captaining Jamaica as a World Cup, scoring in the FA Cup. Not many people can say that they've even done that. So he's capped off a lot of boxes, but he felt it was time for a change. And to be quite frank with you, a deal of this nature, well, this deal took place on Wednesday. Wednesday is when the pen was put to paper, but... The club has the, the first right to announce the player. The club has announced the player. And now you're aware of it because the club specifically wanted to announce it first. I was going to come with it first, but still, I'm the first Jamaican to come out with it. So as I say, guys, it's, it's, it's outstanding. I had a chat with Omar. Omar was on the island quite recently, and we spoke about the plans. He had a different agent. And I know I spoke with you guys in the past about some interest that was building for him, specifically in Scotland. But a new agent coming into the picture and said that Bath has an exciting project coming up. And that is why he should pursue this sort of opportunity. Bath currently plays in the English League South. So he'll be playing South of England, different culture, different atmosphere, different environment. And we certainly wish him all the best. In terms of his career path, as we know, he played with Real Salt Lake 2016 to 2017. Real Monarchs went to the Bethlehem Steel 2018. Uh, 2018 and as we know, he was with... Uh, San, San, San Roque, that was uh, over in Spain for, for a game there. And then Darlington FC, you know, Darlington came in, into the picture and played games, scored goals for them, built up a good relationship with family, built up great things. With, with, and as you can, as you remember, two years ago, I went over to England and met up with Omar, met up in Newcastle, which is not far from, from, from Darlington, sat down, had a, had a pint and just spoke about the future and what lies for him. And that this is the move that he's hoping will transform his career. Now, as it relates to the national setup, he has a lot of work to do and he understands that. And he accepts that he's not an automatic pick. He knows that there is lots of work for him to do to be even be placed in a category of a 23-man squad. He knows that. And I think he... I think he's going to put in his name on that JFF contract quite shortly as well. So with Omar and where his situation is concerned, new club, Bar City FC, so signed until the summer of 2022. He's excited. He's looking forward to it. And it's a club that is eyeing promotion to the National League. So we wish him all the best. And hopefully things will fall into place for him at this club. Staying away from injuries. He scores goals, creates assists. He's been utilized more as a box-to-box -box since his move to England, even though we saw him a bit higher up the pitch during his time in Jamaica. But I still think he has the ability to play a bit higher. But that, you need to be a bit more physical. That's why he's sitting a little bit deeper where he is right now. But it's perfectly fine. He can still shoot from long range. Still has a decent distribution of the football. So we'll see what can happen. We'll we'll honestly see what can happen. And we hope and hope that he will continue to do great things in England. And we wish that he will thrive. So Omar, I know you watch this channel. We live basically like a, a stone's throw away. But we wish you all the best. Look, guys, Omar is the best player I've played against. The best player I've played with, I would say, three players in particular, Max Pragnell, Justin McMaster, and Luca Levy. But the best player I've played against, I would say, Omar Holness. Mona Prep versus Hillel Prep, shooting from half line. And there's a goal in prep school football known as the Omar. So you have to bust the Omar is when you shoot from half line and, and catch the goalkeeper off his line. 
Yeah, bugs of talent, I tell you. So, Reggae Boys fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you happy with this move from Omar? Do you think that he should have perhaps stayed another season at Darlington? Are you happy with the next chapter of his career that he's making? Should he go back to North America? What are your thoughts about Omar's movements uh, in England? Do you think that this is the time where he comes of age, he makes progress, he makes a move? How do you analyze the situation from Omar, uh, the Wolmerian? I know a lot of Wolmerians will be saying, well, I didn't go to Wilmer. I think it's Agequadagis. All the Wilmerians can tell me if it's that. It's Agequadagis. <laughs> but yeah, you all can, can let me know how, how that goes. And I know everyone will be happy because Wilmerians are doing great things across the globe, footballing-wise, and in other corners of the globe as well. So let's hope that Omar does, does great things. All right, guys. We'll be in touch.